Hey everybody, welcome back. It's it's been a good weekly for for the up and down at the very least. There's been you know some ten pieces. There's been some uh, four pieces. Probably had some some lower pieces as well that I just can't remember. Let me let me take a fish and a moth and a mosquito. I'm just thinking. They run a goose. It, we're, so we can't really run anti-moth with this team. What we can do is run anti-goose. Maybe? Maybe a famous alien. I'm not sure if you've heard about them. They're all over the news lately. It flew all the way to Earth on a uh, faster-than-light craft. Deployed a bunch of easily targetable balloons over the Great Lakes. Said we're out of here and bailed. Anyway, um, how about this? I'm a believer. I call I call this the one piece. One win before round three. I'm looking and I'm he's actually done it. Many people thought it was not possible for me to win one of the first two rounds. Well, guess what? Nobody in the history ever thought that this day would ever end. This is a, a Bread Hole quote. I don't yell at me, I said Bread Hole! Bread Hole! Well, guess what? It's not gonna end. I'm gonna say you take some broccoli just to make you a better moth receiver. Why not run Flamingo in the front? Because we don't want it to get killed by our own woodpecker, man. Listen to yourself. Do you hear yourself when you say the things that you say? Look at this. We're... we're spec'd for the mid-game, but that's okay, because I don't know if you've noticed this, it is the mid-game. We're also looking for levels. You're sticking for a bit. Pineapple show up next round. I'm gonna make you an even better mod receiver. So you now you're, you're gonna be a 10-9, which is pretty solid. Now, of course, my opponents are also running moths. This one's gonna be tougher. Never mind, it's gonna be completely fine. Three wins. In a row, I may add, Kevin Smith. Now, let me get some levels. It's not a level, but it's a unit we like. I'm gonna sell ya, buy ya, just because we know, you know, some stats are better than no stats. You're a three-piece. Don't really want lettuce, we want pineapple. None pineapple. Call me Kevin Sorbo, the way I be reading stage directions as lines. Disappointed! But it's okay. Just because we're, we're not on the perfect line doesn't mean that the line is not good enough to... Well, okay, we're going to lose this one. <laughs> With a pineapple, I don't think we lose that one, okay? Just... Oh, oh, I'm, I'm going to take my level on you right now. I want to stop the bleeding. I'm going to try a skunk. Yeah. And I... Listen, a clownfish makes sense. Because we have so many units so close to leveling, but I don't know. I just can't be bothered. <laughs> it's not a good reason, but hang on, hang on, hang on. We made it. Okay, good stuff. So, what's the present plan? Well, I'll let you know after this. Our present pr plan is to scale a woodpecker like crazy. It's, this is it. We sell and sell. You run monkey and dragonfly. And our stats look bad. I just need to remind you it's only round seven. And if we could get like a level three skunk, it's, and it's admittedly like a while away, but if we can get a level three skunk, we're in a position where we could actually... Take their strongest unit, which will probably be at the front. Um, reduce it to one HP. And then reduce it to atoms via the woodpecker. It's, it's more than a theoretical possibility. Honestly, we don't want to put a donut on anybody. Like, if we put a donut on a skunk, it guarantees it gets the stats instead of a monkey. But then when it gets to level 2, it gets the stats instead of a woodpecker. So you could put it on a monkey instead of a skunk, but that's not what we want. You could put it on a moth, but a moth's already guaranteed via the dragonfly. So I, I think you take... The, it's a rare situation 
where sometimes you might say it's better than nothing. This time, no, nothing was better than something there. It's, it's, very, it's very zen, it's very Jack Bogle. And maybe that's a reason I particularly like it, but we, we got a lot of momentum. Don't squander it by trying to squeeze, you know, too much blood from a stone. This is, this is majestic. Beautiful. Only problem is now our dragonfly is only generating 2-2 two, two per turn. But our penguin would essentially be doing the same thing. It just could possibly hit something other than a moth. But that means we could sell our moth. The dragonfly is about to level up, though. You know, it would probably be better just... Literally, I was just about to say, it would probably be better just to have another monkey out there. And we get blown out by uh, scorpions. So my defense against that is to hope that my opponent doesn't buy scorpions. <laughs> and if, if that comes to pass, oh baby. I'm going to sell you. I think you've, you've served your purpose. Give me a crocodile for some sniping potential. So pretty soon, our woodpecker is going to be, like, tapped. The problem, I guess, now that I think about it, is you don't really want to move a woodpecker back, ever. Okay, there's another defense against scorpions, I guess, is just to kill their scorpion. And we're, it looks like we're not winning by much, but... As long as we keep winning, I'm not sweating it. You should stat up, I think, so you might be able to move up. Although, it, admittedly, a pineapple makes a lot of sense on you, too. I'm gonna go here first, but I definitely, like... I think we're in... I think we're doing great, but I think it's a race against time. Because we're gonna have to mess with our placement in a way that is not gonna make anybody too happy... Um, pretty soon. Never mind, we just got... Oh, I thought that was 10, my mistake. But we're, we're looking great right now. We can afford for sure to do one more round of woodpecker scaling. Maybe we can afford to do more than one more round of woodpecker scaling. Holy cow. Like what I'm thinking is that even though it's super nice to have the woodpecker in front, we could run crocodile or skunk in front and accept getting hit in order to get the, the benefits of much better scaling. I think it's, it's not completely idiotic. <laughs> you got me? I actually thought there was a chance we might go we might go all the way on this one. But we got, we got a lot of tolerance here. We had a lot of HP built up because we had a strong early game. How much damage do you do? You do eight damage. I'm gonna move skunk to the front. It is getting a little goofy potentially. But you know what? We're, we're here. Let's give it a chance. You already give more defense, right? Yeah, yeah, you do. Yeah, you do. I mean, we don't need this. We need, we need to roll for something better. Something that gives us like a force multiplier. Level 3 skunk, that's a force multiplier if we get there. 1622. This is going to get rattled by the woodpecker. Please tell me uh, we don't see any position 2 scorpions. This team is just stronger than mine. Or is it? Oh! Dude. The carrots, the carrots made such a huge difference in the end. All right. Well, that's, that's a strong team. I think like if I was to chart our power, sorry, my camera's mirrored. I always got to remember. Our, I think our power on that one goes like this. And then in the round where we got 10 wins, we diminished it just slightly, just slightly. But I think that that was like a necessary diminishment to keep climbing later. Like that was the gear shift, in my opinion. So you might be, you might say like, oh, your team would have done better if you had the woodpecker in position one there. Yeah, but if we'd drawn or lost that round, would that have screwed, like the Y-intercept would have been higher, but would the slope have been worse for the rest? And I think the answer is yes, but you may, you may agree, you may disagree. Either way, love it or hate it, you watched. That's all you could do. Thanks, guys. Um, it'll be like a super auto piggy. 
me when uh, I threatened to cancel Netflix, but they know that I already have it on auto renew, so there's like no shot I'm going into my settings. Plus, Physical 100 episodes come out tonight. Okay, here you go. I'm going to run this. Now, the order... This is my order, in my opinion. But I really... A win is too much to ask for. <laughs> I am hoping to not lose. And I, I'm going to win. Now, can I tell you that I put the goose up in front because I didn't want a 1 HP unit up in front in case they had a mosquito? What I did not anticipate was that they would have three mosquitoes, but somehow our plan worked regardless, which I'm very grateful for. You're just not very good, unfortunately, Goose, I gotta say. I'm gonna run Turtle in front, which I know seems very strange. It's a Turtle in front as like a Moth receiver. It just has five HP, which, which matters to me. And then with, pardon me, I got a water burps here. With, uh, with Clownfish, we gotta prioritize getting some levels. So that's why we took the other units. Kind of a lucky draw, I think, for us against a team with two oxes. Let me sell. I'm going to take a... No, I'm not. I'm going to take my level next time. I'm going to buff. I'm going to move turtles slightly back. This just makes more sense. I'm going to freeze. Call me crazy. I think you can unwind the moth. That sounds stupid when I, when I put it that way. <laughs> unwind the moth, really? Do I want you to summon a level two? What? Let's just give this a chance, okay? I think it could be funny. Whether or not it's good, I think this could be funny. Because who knows what a level two tier one could do for us at this stage of the game. What do you think? Four four chinchilla or something like that? Uh, a two twelve iguana. <laughs> this is... But the longer you hold the stork, the, the more efficacy it can, you know, luck into, more or less. Go ahead. It's interesting. Freeze me some lettuce. Call me crazy. I'm buying an apple for the, the clownfish and the Doberman. Um, I mean, I know the Doberman is merely a 5-6 that doesn't really do anything right now. Um, it's just fun. He's such a novel guy. I'm just trying to make him work. My chocolate milk? My, my whole entire team is dead. And they say snipers don't work this week. Well, just try to tell that to Big Booba. I think they'll laugh in your face. I'm going to sell you. I'm going to buy you. I'm going to buy you. I'm going to buy a lettuce. Was that all in service of trying to make a, a lettuce work? Yes, it was. I genuinely just don't think that, that the stork is long for this world. The stork is going to get sold. We're about to get tier fours. This Doberman pivot is not going to work. I'm going to die. <laughs> Please stop using woodpecker on me. It's invalidating all of my uh, chocolate cake decision making. I'm on, I'm on two life. Okay, so if the pivot's going to work, it's it's got to start right now. Please give me a monkey. Well, sell me, because you're not doing anything anyway. Run Doberman in the front. It doesn't work yet. I know it doesn't work. It's my, I, I don't want to say it's my plan that it doesn't work. I'm just aware of the fact that it doesn't work. I'm trying to level my Doberman. I'm trying to level my Ox. Leveling the Ox would allow us to get a tier 5 faster, maybe pivot slightly quicker. Not losing would be, it, it would be a miracle in and of itself here. That's not going to happen. So we're going to be on lethal and forced to make the curse decision. Forced by myself, to be clear, but... Do you try to make the Doberman work? Wait. Buy me? Crocodile. <laughs> okay. Um, 
I think you have to gradually unwind. So the crocodile can be a long-term part of the plan. The clownfish and the sea turtle are not. Oh, I have to do it like so. <laughs> very stupid of me. Uh, we, I don't think we're going the distance. I think that's probably, you're already aware of that. Them having their own crocodile, kind of devastating. Wait a second. I don't believe it. Okay, we, we're up against the other people who are on lethal. Maybe we can leverage that for a minute here. Okay, we need tier 5 units and we can't be picky. You also need to go. Take a moose. It, it can scale you. Doberman needs a donut. Freeze a tier 4. Chocolate on the Doberman is a gimme. Freeze a tier six. Well, Doberman's not going to be eating a donut then, is it? Some The fox is probably eating some broccoli. Now, the moose unfreezes the whole shop anyway, so please hit the Doberman. Doberman, Doberman. Monkey, a 1-1 one, one buff on the monkey! I'm selling you. <laughs> moose donut, I do think, can go hard, though. Holy cow. Now, this is always like the honeymoon period on the Doberman, where when you get the coconut armor, you're like, I can't be stopped. I'm going to the moon. There are still things that can stop you, okay? Just don't, don't get overly cocky here. That's good, though. Freeze a tier five. Buy a donut. Now, maybe the moose won't be so bad. I would freeze these. Not those. This is very... I, I, honestly, I would roll one more time just to see what you get. If you eat a pineapple, you eat a pineapple. I'm not going to cry about it, but it would be for the best if you ate a carrot. The moose... No, let's go. And then the moose buffed our Doberman quite nicely. Like 3-3. Three, three. It's something! Considering we knew we had to sell our whole squad like two turns ago, I'm not going to cry. Okay, great great sniping on you. I got to give you some credit on that one. Hey, did your squad work out the way you expected it to there? Just asking. That takes us to four. It's always exhilarating, the Doberman pivot. You got to... You got to respect it. Delightfully devilish, Seymour. We are on tier sixes, so I don't even think the lettuce is very good. It's like, do you want to put an orca out there? Do you want to put... Walrus is like tempting, but... I don't think there is a but. I actually think like you're just not... The fox is not likely to be good enough for us here. Though it... Pains me a great deal to say it. Nobody really needs a walrus right now. Or not a walrus. I, I literally forgot what I was talking about. <laughs> we just want not two tier ones. One tier one. I deserve that. It's okay. It's a one one buff on our Doberman. And then one death touch coming. We want to see chocolate. We want to see a walrus. We want to see matches for our units. That's a big one. Kind of a nasty skunk. Saved. Okay. I, realistically, look at this team. We were not far ahead of the competition on this one. If we get hard stuck at five, then we're hard stuck at five. I could live with that. It's tempting to try to make a boar work too. But I like, I like our foundation. Normally, I hate our foundation. Here, I like our foundation. I just don't like the house we built on top of it. <laughs> we don't even need a chili pepper. You should just roll for a better buff. Honestly, that's that's good enough. And then roll for better shop units. Although, now that the shop units, by the way, also known as food. Now that I think about it, all this stuff's going to get unfrozen anyway. So what do we care about getting a Doberman in the freaking shop? Because it gets unfrozen by the moose anyway. Come on, come on. I want you to hit me. Trust me, I, I've definitely noticed that our squad is not getting any better uh, turn after turn. We're definitely, we're trying to coast on, on the back of a Doberman here. That's a really nice get, though. Level 2 Walrus, in theory, could help us out. I would freeze you. I would freeze you. I double-tapped by accident there, and I'm going to say, 
saved. I'm going to say there was some mercy there. Um, but I don't know what to buy. Honestly, I, I'm going to throw this on you. And I know the odds are we're going to override the tomato. We got to do something, though, because if we just roll, it all gets unfrozen anyway. So there's no point in rolling. We could have put a melon on someone, but a melon on a 5-6? Nah, man. Let, let me get that tomato instead. This is horrendous. <laughs> I told you, I didn't see us going much further than that. Still, though, a Doberman pivot is always a fun time. Thanks for watching. We're a little on the shorter side today. I got to go pick up my daughter from daycare. I hope you enjoyed it, though. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. See ya!